This piece of equipment here is a rather expensive piece of equipment. It's called a Great All 5100. It has a telestick on it so we can extend the reach and you can see it has a pretty, pretty great reach. This particular machine is wheel mounted so we can get down, down the canals pretty fast or move out where we need to. We have another machine we refer to as a VC20. Even with the two machines operating, even on weekends at times, we have a hard time keeping up to keep the, the channels open. Keeping the canals flowing has become an expensive responsibility for George Carpenter, district manager for the Hidalgo Water District. According to Carpenter, the district will spend an average of $100,000 to $120,000 every year keeping hydrilla from clogging the district's canals. The canal system to the valley and to the farmer is his lifeblood. Here in the Rio Grande Valley, this is a semi-arid area and we absolutely depend on irrigation. And when a farmer goes out and invests in a crop, he may have seven, eight hundred dollars an acre, a thousand dollars an acre in a crop, and if he can't get water, then he's vulnerable to losing the entire crop. Besides water for agriculture, the canal also supplies water for local municipalities. And in this region of Texas, water is in short supply. So it's imperative that the water district makes good use of every drop. Finding a better solution to the hydrilla problem would go a long way in achieving that goal. We've really gotten interest in the, in the grass carp because of the other, uh, the mechanical cleaning and chemical cleaning not only is a temporary fix, but it's uh, very expensive. Carpenter hopes control with grass carp will be a less expensive, long-term approach in keeping the canals free of hydrilla. Unfortunately, grass carp are not native to North America and importation and release is regulated. Not a native species to North America, a native species of Asia that was brought here specifically for this purpose. Dr. Michael Masser is a fishery specialist with the Texas Cooperative Extension Service. His experience in using biocontrols to eliminate aquatic weeds, like hydrilla, is well documented. Masser and George Carpenter are working together to get the carp in the canals. The hydrilla has a tremendous biomass when it's wet and we're talking 12, 15 tons per surface acre when you rake this stuff out wet. And so uh, it takes quite a few carp to actually eat that kind of biomass. In this system, we're gonna stock 40 grass carp to the surface acre and hope to get control within about six months. With Masser's help and assistance from the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department, permission was granted for the white emuers release can't hardly believe the results we've had. Uh, the fish have absolutely taken control of it and taken care of the whole situation. According to Carpenter, the hydrilla has almost disappeared. For the Hidalgo Water District, that means no chemical, mechanical, or labor-intensive efforts are needed to keep the canals flowing. More importantly, water losses have been dramatically reduced. As far as what we expect out of it, uh, uh, I suppose anything up to five years or better. We expect uh, possibly more than that. Uh, we were told that, that maybe every second or third year we'd want to restock at the rate of about 20% if we needed to keep the, the level up. Uh, the way they've cleaned us out, I'm not too sure that, that that'll have to happen, but we'll see it three or four years from now, see what it looks like.